The NFL star's girlfriend, Taylor Swift, offered her support to one victim's family with a $100,000 donation. Travis Kelsey continues to grapple with the tragic shooting that left one dead and 22 others injured after this week's Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. As the city and fan base recover from the tragedy, quarterback Patrick Mahomes and wife Brittany visited some of the young victims who were injured at Children's Mercy Hospital on Friday. As for Kelsey, a source tells ET that he is actively figuring out his next steps in helping to give back to the victims and city. Travis is trying to process everything that has happened, as is everyone in the Chiefs community, the source explains. He is actively trying to find out specifically what the victims' needs are and where he can help the most. He he wants to ensure that the impacted families get what they need during this difficult time. Another source previously shared with ET that the star tight end was heartbroken about the tragic aftermath of the parade. Travis is a passionate man with a big heart, the source told ET. He loves and respects his teammates and profession and takes football very seriously. He also loves Kansas City and is heartbroken by what has happened. The source added, The Super Bowl win was meant to bring unity and light to the city, and it's been overshadowed by the horrible events that took place. The hope is for the city to heal and for the fans and community to continue to stand united during this difficult time. Chaos unfolded on Wednesday as gunfire erupted in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, just moments after the Chiefs' festivities came to a close. The team had been celebrating their second consecutive Super Bowl victory after defeating the San Francisco 49ers in overtime on Sunday at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. On Thursday, Kansas City Police Chief Stacy Graves said a total of 23 people were shot near Union Station and one person died. That deceased person was identified as Elizabeth Lisa Lopez Galvin, a mother of two, diehard Chiefs fan and popular DJ and radio host at KKFI's 90.1 FM. She was 43. While Kelsey and his teammates were honored at the parade on Wednesday, his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, who has been a mainstay at the Chiefs games this season, was across the globe for the Australian leg of her era's tour. On Friday, she offered her heartfelt condolences to the family of the late Lopez Galvin while donating $100,000 to a fundraiser in her honor. Sending my deepest sympathies and condolences in the wake of your devastating loss. With love, Taylor Swift, she wrote on GoFundMe. ET has confirmed that Swift's contribution is legitimate. Graves shared that a preliminary investigation shows there was no nexus to terrorism or violent extremism. The mass shooting, Graves said, stemmed from an apparent dispute between several people that ended in gunfire. The 22 other shooting victims range in age between 8 and 47 years old, and at least half of the victims are under the age of 16. The investigation, which remains active and ongoing, has so far yielded three individuals in custody. Two of the three individuals, officials say, are juveniles. Officials also said police have recovered several firearms. In a public statement on social media, Kelsey previously stated, I am heartbroken over the tragedy that took place today. My my heart is with all who came out to celebrate with us and have been affected. KC, you mean the world to me. Moments after the shooting, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes tweeted, praying for Kansas City. Chiefs linebacker Drew Tranquil also tweeted, please join me in prayer for all the victims in this heinous act. Pray that doctors and first responders would have steady hands and that all would experience full healing. On Friday, the Chiefs organization announced the launch of KC Strong, an emergency respond fund in partnership with United Way for victims of the shooting and their families, as well as violence prevention and mental health services and first responders. The Chiefs, Hunt Family Foundation and NFL are supporting this cause with a $200,000 donation to ensure that we are helping to support the victims and first responders in the immediate aftermath of Wednesday's tragedy, reads a statement on X.